What's up guys, it's Corey from Super Comic Guru 9000 and welcome to my review of Naruto Shippuden episode 264. The war continues in this episode, although we get to go to the sidelines a little bit. We get to see what's going on with two very important groups. Uh, the episode actually opens up with Killer B and Naruto who are still continuing their training and they now go into this new hyperbolic time chamber type place. This is where Naruto is going to try and learn to turn into the Ninetales Fox. And he does try it once, but it actually ends up not working and he ends up turning into this goofy looking Pokemon like thing and uh, you know this is actually pretty funny but of course this leads into another part of his training he's going to learn to use a technique known as the tailed beast bomb or the bijou ball during this scene we're also treated to some old school Naruto flowcharts which of course is fitting with this week's manga chapter and uh, you know this just is uh, just another great way to explain how the uh, chakra is used from the nine tails when he's in his nine tails mode and it's really cool because he's starting to learn how to use the Tailed Beast Bomb by actually using his new form by uh, having like chakra arms come out of his back and he uses those instead of using his clones. But really the heavy shit in this episode, the stuff that I really enjoyed was the huge scene that was going on between Kabuto and Toby. And uh, this was just a really, really tense scene. Everything about it here, just the music... Uh, there was very limited animation, obviously, but everything was just so tense. Toby also wants to know how to use the Edo Tensei technique and how to stop it. And this, of course, leads into this huge scene where Kabuto goes on to explain how to use it and demonstrates it right in front of him. And what's really fucked up about all of this is that Toby actually summons back Torune and Fu uh, from inside of his eyes. He just walks up to Torune real casually and immediately snaps his neck. Like, he just doesn't give a shit. And he dies right there on the spot. And then that's when Kabuto actually uses Tarune's body and begins to perform the Edo Tensei and explains how he uses it. It's basically a summoning jutsu where you need a little bit of the DNA of that person. And then he puts it on this scroll. And then they have Fu's body, who's basically going to be the medium for this. And they use him to re-summon Tarune back. And it's really fucked up. You can see like all the like shattered parts like going all over Fu's body and everything. And it's real freaky and just, it's fucked up. It's just a messed up technique. After this, Kabuto is just like, well, I'm going to go ahead and just leave now. But Toby's going to keep track of him. Zetsu's right behind him, and he says that he has some spores attached to Kabuto, so he's going to be following him along. He then tells Zetsu to go off and perform another special mission. So a lot of things are getting ready to heat up. So this was a pretty damn good episode. Not a lot happened, but it was all really, really great classic Naruto stuff that I really enjoyed. Um, again, Naruto training. This is nothing new and it's nothing all that crazy. And you know what? I like watching Naruto training because he always finds these little loopholes how to get around things really, really quickly. And, uh, you know, he's already making headway in learning how to use this tailed beast bomb. And again, like I said, I love seeing the interactions between him and Killer B. But, uh, really, the big thing this week, it was all about Toby and Kabuto. I mean, just, God, what a tense scene, man. Just, you, you could cut it with a knife. Just these two just immensely powerful, really messed up characters who are definitely the coolest villains in the series, I think, so far. And, uh, you know, just Toby's so ruthless the way he just immediately summoned them, snapped to Rooney's neck. It was just so messed up. And Kabuto don't give a shit either. It's, obviously, he's done this a few times before. He's even mentioned that he's had many, many failures. So he, he's a mass murderer of ridiculous proportions. And uh, he's a grave robber, too. So he's one fucked up individual. There was Chio, and I believe there was Hanzo and Kimimaro. That was just pretty cool to see. And, uh, you know, uh, you saw Hinata and Kiba and Neji this week. Um, you know, there's a huge absence of Rock Lee. I think they need to put more Rock Lee in the Naruto show and less into that comedy show. Um, but otherwise, still, pretty entertaining episode. A lot of big information was given, and uh, I loved the scene between Toby and Kabuto. Um, I read it in the manga. And it was a good scene. But seeing it in color and in motion and with the music that they chose and everything, it just it really added a lot to it. Really, really great stuff. Uh, so I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10. Just a really, really good episode. Not really an action episode, but uh, a good story uh, episode. So make sure and check it out, guys. And remember, guys, if you like this review, make sure and give it a thumbs up. That concludes this review today, guys. Super Comic Guru 9000, out.